Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, Artie and Marty are back for more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, wrapping up Day 2's investigation for Turnabout Samurai. So we just got the trailer key to Studio 2, we gotta wander over to Let's go. Now. I mean... If if anything happened in there, rustled around or whatever, someone's dead. If <laughs> not, if not, it's like, all right, well, we'll see what happens. Um, I want no, I want to go back. Okay, I can't shortcut that apparently. That's fine. We're good. Let's examine the door. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened. Great. Let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Ah, not that eager. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, look, we got obviously Japanese people on the wall. Sure. October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Nick! Someone's in here! Names. I'm thinking the GG Galaxy voice. Names. Too. Oh, our names? Uh, well, we're WP's lawyers, and, um... I see. Uh, and who might you... De Va How do you say that? Vasquez. De Vasquez, the producer. De Vasquez. She's quite beautiful. Um, um, that's not my... Okay. No, <laughs> maybe I won't say anything about maybe she's gonna. Maybe she was dying in the trailer of smoke. <laughs> There's no windows open! That's true. Also, why is she dressed like a ninja? I don't know. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. I excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A s script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai! Miss Vasquez? It's on TV. Every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick! She's telling us to go watch TV! The nerve of her! Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director, Sal Manella, was it? What, er, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. I'm trying to think, like, she's almost like Cruella DeVille meets whatever the heck you said. Okay, I always picture her being like, I'm looking for a script. <laughs> but, but it needs to sound I'm like she smokes. But she needs to sound like she smokes. I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking for a script. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she maybe she recently took up smoking. <laughs> we don't know. From the looks of her, I'd say no. <laughs> Nick? Are all people in the entertainment business this weird? Yes. It's starting to look like it. <laughs> yes, they are. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there some place else we have to check? Y yeah. Wait. Y yes? If you see Manella, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? I don't think I like her. <laughs> Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. Alright, we'll give it to him if we see him. Vasquez's memo added to the court record. <laughs> yeah. She's she, very boring. She doesn't really talk. Samurai Summer is starring Jack Hammer. This poster is quite old. Wow! It's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. A typical summer romance? With a samurai on a horse? <laughs> yeah. This is where they had that meeting. 
There are documents and paper cups scattered around. Great. Jump out the window. The glass is frosted. I can't see outside. This far into October, October, the dimming daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. Nothing in here that could be a clue. Just some paper cups and crumpled documents. You never know. One of them might be like... Memo to kill Jack Hammer. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Alright, well, now we've got to go back to Creepy Dude. Oh, gee. Old Bag's still chasing after the kid. <laughs> I thought she tripped. Wouldn't she be down? I mean, she could get back up. She's an athletic old gal. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> the memo reads, bring me the script for episode 13. How unlucky of him. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring the script for episode 13? Episode 13? Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Sweats. Uh, uh oh. My ass is pruned if I don't find it. Shakes. Nick, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. Oh boy. <laughs> we get to look everywhere for a script. So where would you think it would be? Where has he been? Where Murder would... scene. Murder scene? Alright. Otherwise, we haven't seen him around. I feel like we would have bumped into him. Do, 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 do. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. Oh, look! Director's chair. Hey! Look! That's the chair that the director sits in! I've always wanted to sit in one of these! The director! Maya, take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? Aha! Found it, Nick! The script! Oh, don't mean to grease marks. I took it to McDonald's <laughs> and I spilled some fries on it. Good work! That was the worst. One of my friends for the show I was in a couple years ago, he had had his script, and he must have had McDonald's or, like, chips or something with it, because it was just greasy. It was disgusting. No, no, we can't all be perfect. <laughs> I'm not perfect either, but it was just disgusting. Alright, let's bring that to Vasquez. <laughs> <laughs> Vasquez's memo. I'm not interested. Well, short to the point. Here, we found it. Your script. Ah. Uh. Script handed to D. Vasquez. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on! What's the big idea? Who do you think you're talking to anyway, and who do you even- how do you even know who we are? Do you even know who we are? I don't know. Powers lawyers. Um, right. Am I a suspect? N no, it's just- well, no, but- You wanted to know about the day of the murder? Yes, anything that you could tell us would be a big help. You know, there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network? Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? No, oh, because the statue fell over. Let's talk! On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked? You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M mr Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right. That... what an original name. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after 3 p.m. It was after 4 by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was clear. I mean, you could walk around that really easily. Good to easily. know, though, that it was windy. 
maybe like the wind helped pull whoever was in the suit far further, so like they moved faster. So that <sighs> they didn't have to move as much weight. Maybe they had the tailwind, I don't know. Actually, the spear just blew through the wind and happened to stab the guy in the chest. <laughs> That's not what I was saying. <laughs> stuck in this trailer, stuck until after 4. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. Crane came in just after three to move its head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd collaborate with my story. But, but wait! What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One! 2.30. Time of death. I feel like she needs to have a deeper voice. You know, deeper but... voice. Mm, very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in ooks. What is with time in this entire thing? <laughs> One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with ooking. It is a monkey after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. <gasps> Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. The path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at 2.30. See? Goodbye. Mr. Monkey's data was added to the court record. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished! It sure doesn't look good. Maybe yes. he just did it. Maybe he just did it and he's like trying to just throw yeah, us I mean, off. That's possible. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. Penny's gone. That's weird. <laughs> Where did she go? Maybe she fled the country. October 18th, right in company law offices. Penny's just like, I gotta get out of here. And was just like running and <laughs> fleeing the border. <laughs> now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. M Mia! It's you! Hey, I guess right! W what took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh wait, I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I saw him! I saw everything! What?! But, no way am I telling you losers! Let's go stalk a little kid, I guess. I don't know, he didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Let's get him some food. Either way, we should, we should get. Either way, we should get back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. Obi You're your my only, only hope. hope. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. I don't know. Just bribe a kid with food. No, there is another. <laughs> Let's talk. So, what's the best thing to do from here? We need to get to the studio and talk to that boy. Any ideas? So, do you have any ideas on who might have done this? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Where have I heard that <laughs> phrase before? So that's where Maya got it from. That's funny. Oh wait, Hinata. We could present stuff to her. <laughs> this is one of Mia. our only opportunities to do so. Showing me that isn't going to do you any good. You know what they say, dead men don't tell tales. You sure are talking enough. Showing me oh, that isn't going to okay. do me any good. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, well... I'll... Show him Mr. Monkeyhead. <laughs> That's not going to do anything. October 18th, Global Studios, main gate. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Wiper snapper! She's been chasing that boy this whole time. When... when I c catch him, I... Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. 
I, I got a hostage now, whippersnapper. A hostage? Let's talk about hostages here. <laughs> Do you have your own crime? Um, what happened to the boy? If I see him ag again, I'll... Uh, I am flat! <laughs> My, what a violent old lady. <laughs> Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh? Uh, my heart, it doesn't feel so good. Is she okay? B before I go, I'd like to v visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What's this about a hostage? <laughs> when that boy was running away, he dropped this and, and ran. <laughs> He'll come back <laughs> for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea. Miss Oldbag, might I- No! I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do! Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade? Hmm. Trade me wonder... attorney's badge. <laughs> no! No! That is the most precious thing in the world to me. <laughs> Let's trade the autopsy report. Ah! Oh! She's too busy catching her breath to tell me anything. Let's trade the bottle. <laughs> you like sleeping pills, right? Oh. Oh, never mind. Trade the key. Hey, that... That's a card. Studio One? Right, a card key to Studio One. I... I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit... Where he died. I was his... His fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Old Bag? Studio One isn't my turf. <laughs> You'll let me borrow... Borrow it, then? If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One again. Should we lend it to her, or keep it? I thought... When when I said we should lend the thing, I thought we should lend the trailer key. Then we can't talk to Vasquez again. We don't need to talk to her if she's safe. I don't know, but we might need to go back to the scene of the crime, like, if someone's in there. I don't know. I mean, we should probably lend it. We, that's probably what we have to do. Sorry, we have our own investigating to do there. <laughs> Pro. Is that last bit of breath or a pout? <laughs> Alright, we could try to give her this. Miss Old Bag, I'm borrowing this, just so you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> J just be sure to give it back. No. She's not as demanding as she, she's not as demanding when she's exhausted. Demand, 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 okay, demand, so demand. Do yeah, all right. I guess we'll lend it to her. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Old Bag. Card key lent to Miss Old Bag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this, and we're even. Deal. What's this? A Steel Samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it! I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Steel Samurai card added to the court record. Oh boy, it like literally is like, um, Pokemon. Right, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off toward the studio. I wonder when Mia's gonna switch back to Maya. A trading card. Apparently, these are really popular with kids these days. Okay, I forgot how long this investigation period was. It's a good thing we split it up. Yeah. Well, he probably snuck in through the drain, so... October 18th, Global Studios Employee Area. Hey! Hey! Hey, you! W wait a sec! Phoenix, was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackens. I think he ran into the dressing room. With Salmonella? Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. October 18th, Global Studios dressing room. He's sure to be here somewhere. Found you! Damn it! He's getting away! Come back! There. He's back. How did she... Hey there. Would you mind helping us out? Please? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. 
Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's, um, the bomb. <laughs> ha! What would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude! Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell at me like that. I'm only a kid. Is he bald? On no. top? No, he's, he's wearing a oh, hat and then he's got hair. Why is the hat the same color as his skin on top? See that? It's not. See that up there? That's white. His skin color's tan. Okay, it looks like the same color. <laughs> I literally have never seen that before. He's not bald, though. I was like, is it bald and then he just got, like, the part on the bottom? No. So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm, looks like a little persuasion is necessary. Maybe a bribe? Let's bribe him. Hey, did you know I'm an attorney? What's that? Boring! Man, how can one person be so lame? If you were a superhero, you'd be lame -o man Wow. <laughs> He's like... He's like, look at me, I'm touching my nose. The Samurai Spear! That's totally cool! Wish I had one, too. This kid and Maya would get along great. <laughs> Let's present Mr. Monkey Head. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the Steel Samurai. Huh? Why is he dragging his foot like that? Where'd you get this, anyway? It's in the trailer key. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, this looks familiar. Hey, my you are! You are? Huh? You are! You know, ultra rare! The car's really hard to get! Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb! I'll give you this, if you help me. But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect skewing the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade! Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb! But what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? <laughs> Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble? If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean, there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than playing ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Premium? Rare? Why do I feel like we're talking about stakes? Because we are. I am having way too much fun voici voicing Cody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like well, that's a character great. that either of us could voice and be happy with as well. Which is fun. Uh, maybe. Ugh, I'm a kid. I'm so lame. <laughs> I like the Pokemon cards. Well, well, to be fair, lots of my adults Rattata's like Pokemon like way cards. cooler than the other Rattata. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. Oh, hi. Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff in the middle of the producer trailer <laughs> for no apparent reason. <laughs> um. Yes? The, um, girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? I mean, she's kind of taller and a little bit different. <laughs> like, is she even the same person as before? Uh, nope, she's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> That's one of the few times in the series it's pointed out. <laughs> She's like, um, so you look like way older. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around the boy so fast I thought she'd collapse. Of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fists back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. I hope it wasn't a cream fill, so she's not like... <laughs> <laughs> I picture Old Bag would get, like, the plain donuts. No, that's... Or, or no, oh no, sour cream donuts. That's, like, the old lady donut. You can get donuts with sour cream? Yep. Ew! When I worked at Wendy's, the was sometimes for donuts there, and I... Who would waste their... If you're gonna have a sour cream donut, just don't eat a donut. Have a <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes. It's really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happens... After what... 
happened. You mean, you don't know about Hammer? No, what? I I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Well, well, you have to tell us now. I mean, he's dead. Wait, now you have to tell me. What happened with Hammer? I I'm sorry. I probably am not the one who should tell you. Uh-oh, why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Turns out he's going insane, and that's why he's taking sleeping pills. <laughs> that doesn't help you with insanity! Well, it helps you sleep. It also doesn't if help you with, like, psychopathy like, Okay, if you're anything. feeling like you're going insane, one of the things you need is sleep, and if you can't get any sleep... Sorry, I'm really not sure what that is. It's, it's Mr. Monkey Head with the ooking. Apparently she never leaves her job. Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait! That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it! Uh... I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card! <laughs> Please! I'm begging you! Please trade with me! <laughs> trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I'll even trade you an Ultra Rare Premium card. Trade me a... Huh? Yes, it's a good deal for you. Ultra Rare. Please? Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everyone getting so excited about? Trade. <laughs> what if I say no? I've never done this. No, no, I can't. See, this card isn't really even mine. I see. Uh, of course. Of course, it wouldn't be yours. Of course you couldn't trade it with me. Of course I won't ever get that card ever. Of course I don't even really deserve that card. Oh my gosh! Phoenix, <laughs> do something! She's blacking out! Oh, Holy cow! Okay, okay! okay. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm so glad I chose that. I did not realize that was happening. I was like, oh, I guess she's just like, feeling bad about herself. I was like, oh crap. <laughs> okay. Really? Thanks! Then this is for you. <laughs> you are P-Card added to the court record. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah, yeah it does. Well, Maya's power is really strong because she's lasted for like 10 minutes. <laughs> That's true. As well as the car ride or walk to the studio and back from... <laughs> This is one thing where I really like the new games where you can go to any room from any room. That's really nice. I, that is one feature I really, really like. Go to the dressing room. Hey, hey if you're grown up, you sure are dumb. See this card? Yeah, so. Wait! That's it! That's the last ultra rare premium card I need! Come on, give it to me, please! You gotta give it to me! Wow, I've never seen him so eager. He reminds me of Nine Volt a little bit. Except mixed with Pikachu. <laughs> right, okay. How about a trade? You're on! I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 no! Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me! Gave Erp card to Ho Cody. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. Whoa! I would not recommend having an eight-year-old up on stand at court. Yeah, I... Even with Edgeworth telling him everything he needs to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool! I... I guess. You're judging him by his looks! You have to look at his actions, and his life! I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. <laughs> you like him too, don't you? Uh, oh me? Yeah, I am... Love the Steel Samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. Uh, his kind nature, his fighting skills, or real powers acting. I mean, we haven't seen the show aside from like Maya doing like a karate kick and like <laughs> killing him. So probably his fighting skills. Gotta think of something. I like it when he uh he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, Zam! The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out! It's my fan album! What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. Oh, hang on. I, what are... I don't... I'm not actually sure what the other ones do. His kind nature. Well, right. Come on, think of something. I really like his, um, his kind nature. What a guy! Totally! He looks so tough, but inside, he's as gentle as a kitten. Yeah. So what else do you like about him? 
Don't tell me I have to keep this act up. Oh, oh, actually we have to do his fighting skills. W well, I've never even seen a full episode of that dumb show. Uh, actually, I'm kind of a fan of Will Powers. Whoa, that's totally hardcore! You're calling me hardcore? So what else do you like about him? <laughs> oh yeah, you have you actually have to do his fighting skills. Yeah, I like when he vanishes the foes. Bazam! Yeah! yeah. It's my fan album. Song text. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Do they have live performances <laughs> for a fight show? <laughs> Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public. Oh my God. <laughs> I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Bazam! I caught them all! I never missed one! It's a perfect collection! Check it out! My new digital camera! Wow, wow that's very impressive! The newest model, isn't it? You bad lady! I just got it for my birthday! My album has a name! Wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai! Path to Glory! The Steel Samurai always wins! Always! Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady! Really? Are you sure? Yeah! I took these with a digital camera! I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept. Thank you. Path to glory received. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a wife! <laughs> Mia's nice. What happened? You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Fighting evil bad moon night. Anyway, uh, is, isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? And she would know. Oh, Maya's her sister. Samurai. You have is to help. It? Fighting, fighting for love and for justice. I am Sailor Moon. Oh. Yeah. I got a new reference. Who fights for love and for justice. Uh, you have to help us fight for great justice, too. Uh, I saw... I saw everything. Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. He's being weird, though, for someone who saw everything. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around 2 o'clock. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost, though. I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The Steel Samurai killed the bad guy! He used his samurai spear, just like always! One shot, one kill! It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. Oh, uh, no. I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice veins, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure that means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So, the only person left who it could have been is Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him, then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal! I heard everything! This boy here is a key witness! And he's under police protection, starting now! Good grief, don't put an eight-year-old on the stand. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me at the precinct. No, I ain't gonna go! Where? Oh, That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. W what are we gonna do, Mia? Well, hmm. I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! C come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Ooh. Here's a question for Marty. Do you actually think he's guilty? I'm trying to think. The problem, the problem is that aside from... him, there really isn't anyone that, like, could be... Mm hmm But the problem is, I think the kid's hiding something. Mm hmm I think the kid's definitely hiding something. Either he was there longer, or he literally saw... I mean, he said he literally saw the murder, so that's terrifying. But I'm guessing if he was close enough to see that, he could have seen who the real person was. So I, I don't know. 
Okay. So you're going to say I don't know? I guess? Ah! I never expected things to go this badly with Power's case. I'm not sure we can win this one. Phoenix, if you don't believe him, who will? Uh-oh, she's mad. Oh well. I'll see you in court tomorrow, then. Great, thanks, Mia. Nope, nope. <laughs> He's blackmailing you! <laughs> of course he is! That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court, then. Great, thanks, Mia. See you soon. I was waiting for Maya to be like, Whoa! <laughs> Just coming out of the transformation. Alright, so the plot definitely thickens now, so... Oh boy. This Tomorrow's gonna intense. be an interesting trial. There are gonna be two different witnesses on the stand that we're gonna hear from. We'll probably old bag again. Either that or the producer. And then Me the kid. and the kid. I, yeah. uh, I, I have so many mixed feelings on the kid on the stand. Mm hmm And they're probably going to address a lot of it, so... Yeah. All right. Tomorrow's episode will be fun to watch, though, so hope to see you all there. I'm Colorful Artie. And I'm Marty. And we'll see you for the next episode. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.